Hello friends and colleagues and welcome to this update on the work of CPAS. It's great to be in touch with you. We're in quite a busy season at CPAS, but I'm not asking for any sympathy. We're busy doing the stuff that we love to do and feel that God has called us to do as well. For example, at this very moment, the Buzz Venture is taking place in Shropshire. Over 40 children, young people, over 20 leaders helping 8 to 11 year olds have a great holiday, great fun, make new friends and make friends with Jesus too. And in the world of patronage, we are really busy. The patronage trustees have booked in an extra trustee meeting in order to get through all the shortlisting that needs to be done. We knew this would be a busy time. We have a record number of vacancies, 120 on our books. And so we're seeking God to help great people find great jobs in order to do really good ministry in the years ahead. Some of the quite big churches, Christ Church Fullwood, Christ Church Fulham, All Saints Peckham, etc., etc. We knew that this would be a season where lots of experienced men and women would be entering retirement. So pray not only for the appointment process, but also for the vocations and the discovering of new vocations. Lastly, I wanted to mention for your prayers, the appointment process for a new CEO. Uh, the adverts are all out, the applications are beginning to come in, and we look forward to some interviews in the next few weeks. We want the right person, the right man or woman that God calls to be able to take up the reins here and really lead us into the next phase. I wanted to conclude by mentioning a bit of fun we had last week. Uh, some of the staff and a number of our supporters gathered at Lambeth Palace in order to give thanks for the life of Her Majesty the Queen. She is our patron and we're really proud of her. She's patron to over 500 charities, other things you may or may not know. She's uh, outreigned uh, 14 prime ministers, 14 presidents of the United States, and she's had 30 corgis or doggies, most of which were uh, descended from her first corgi named Susan that she was given when she was 18. But I digress. One of the things I love about her is that she's been very open about her faith and her trust in Jesus Christ. I still remember, I think it was 2014, when in her Christmas address she said these words. For me, the life of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, whose birth we celebrate today, is an inspiration and an anchor in my life. My, we all need anchors, don't we? Especially in uncertain times. It takes me back to one of my favourite verses from Hebrews chapter 6. We have hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where our forerunner, Jesus, has entered on our behalf. May I say a prayer for us? Thank you, Jesus, that you have gone ahead of us in all ways as our forerunner. And we thank you for your presence with us and Her Majesty the Queen. May we live out our call and vocation and allow you to be the anchor for our souls. Thank you. See you soon. God bless.